Welcome Star Wars Force Arena players to this update 2.0 patch notes. Netmarble have just released the notes and changes to the game in addition to obviously the Clone Wars coming as we talked about in previous videos there will be some balance changes as well in the game. Now I've released a video earlier which um, highlights the things you need to do to be ready for the update that's going to be coming tonight, so tomorrow for the 17th. So I'm not going to talk about any of those things in this video as that has already been covered. So I'm just going to go over basically what the notes are saying today and where Netmarble are highlighting some of the changes in the forum. And again, I'll be putting all the links below in the description for you to click on and look at your uh, at your pleasure. So arcade mode, stroke draft mode. Now I didn't get a chance to play this because there's just nobody to play against. So feel free to pause the video at any time as you see some pictures and text and things so you can have a good read through and see what's going on. But basically draft mode works where you have a challenge, you get a free entry and also a challenge battle which costs 100 crystals and you spend that crystals to enter. Now the free entry uh, is I think a once every, f every five days I think um, and the challenge battle you can enter for 100 crystals but how it works is that you achieve five wins or two losses whichever comes quickest and whatever you finish will determine your reward so for example if you win all five games you will be well rewarded you get the maximum reward if you only win say one game and then lose two you get the base reward so you may want to enter again by using 100 crystals and risk the odds again and that draft mode is a random pick you pick random cards and you get picked against random players and importantly though the results do not count on your ranked scoring system it's a completely separate game mode and it has no impact at all on your leadership skills and battling on the, on the, on the, on the, on the ranked server challenges so again feel free to pause the video um, check out the full details there in a draft mechanic and how it all works and this is where you select the cards which again I said is random and you pick a deck and then basically you go from there and you get a choice of two cards and you pick one it's that simple so obviously bearing in mind energy cost those kind of things you don't have decks too expensive and here are the list of the rewards for the normal battle so you win your first game you get 16 cards if you win all five you get 26 cards five rares and three epics which is pretty tasty indeed and here is no normal battle and you click your reward once you've completed the mission and now 2v2 now I am a little bit confused with 2v2 now 2v2 as you guys know is probably my my favorite game mode even before the changes and I 2v2 a lot and particularly that's where most of the salt comes from which you guys love um, now 2v2 is having an arcade mode it's, be it's been called team arena and it's going to work exactly the same way as draft mode the difference being that you can actually invite somebody from your guild to join you in a game of 2v2 challenge and again it won't impact your ratings or rankings at all uh, and the rewards will be the same for playing and again you can pay 100 crystals or do a free entry to get into the challenge now importantly for me it doesn't quite say if 2v2 would be an option or if it's only available as a draft mode or in the arcade mode, which I really hope it isn't, because I would not be happy if that change is permanent. Um, because 2v2 is a great way to level up, level up cars, obviously, but also it's, it's just a good game mode for a bit of fun and where everyone has an equal setting, plus it contributes to turrets, which is important for everybody. Uh, so that's probably be one of the first things I'm looking at tomorrow will be uh, how 2v2 is going to function, because that is a concern for me right now, uh, and, and stuff like that. Um, here are the reward tables for what you get for your wins. So you've got challenge battle. So if you win all f five games, you get many more cards, rare, epics, and also legendary. So for the 100 crystals, it could be worth the gamble uh, just to do that because you get many more cards straight off the bat. But obviously you can do the free entry too because it's free. Why wouldn't you? And, and, and then you just jump into to that. Yeah, so, uh, but you must get at least one win to qualify. If you lose your first two games, then obviously you're out of running. So you don't get anything at all boohoo this goes into the tutorials and how a tutorial works and new packs but I've done a video for tutorials which I'll be re releasing later on today as well 
um, with tutorials for those players of you who are new or those looking to start the game again who, who may not have played for a long time either. Um, and if you want to get Grievous early, it could be a good chance to get Grievous first. Ooh, how good is that? But now when you tier up into the next tier when you do your one versus one games, you'll now be given a pack. And as you can see here, uh, you've got a light side pack if that's the side of your faction you're playing at the time. And these cards you see here are the cards you will be given free. So you get one of each, um, what you see here, and they'll be added to your deck free of charge. And obviously you can upgrade them and use them as you, as you will. Uh, which is pretty pretty good and importantly now training modes had to change so if you guys watched some early videos like the stream I did a one versus uh, training game 1v1 for training and put whacked it on hard mode and wow was it a battle it was epic uh, so the AI really is more difficult to play against now much more of a challenge which is always going to be welcome so it depends on your skill level you can adjust it accordingly now bearing in mind the AI does cheat it tends to drop cards when he's dead so um, yeah bear that in mind AI is always cheating Quality of life to the guild changes. I was hoping for a, a guild cap increase really to at least 70 maybe or even 100 to be greedy but that doesn't, ha doesn't happen. All they're doing now is just putting a chat in one area, there are card requests in another and keeping everything organised so now you don't miss out any important chat messages and those kind of things. Plus also if you've been banned or kicked from a guild, like exiled from the guild, uh, you've got 24 hour grace period when you can search and apply to that guild again from there and that is good. Or right now, if you can't do that, if you're looking to get back into a guild now you've been exiled from, if you just join another guild, get them to exile you, wait for the cooldown, and then you can reapply back to the guild you were in previously, which is pretty good. And here's a new um, guild chat UI, which has been improved now as well. It's all much cleaner and crisper than before now. The whole UI is much, much improved. And here's the store changes. You see those here. Um, and I talked about these in my video earlier on, the shops. Many more cards to purchase now. They're removing the trade. You can no longer trade. It will be coming back, but it won't be coming back just yet. They're going to make improvements to the trade system. Um, so that's going to be removed. But you can now buy many more cards in the shop, car packs. And obviously you can put now buy a legendary unique 75,000 credits if you've got them sticking around. And how you buy multiple cards now has been improved too. Rather than clumps of five, you've now got a slider. You can adjust to buy as many as you want, depending on how rich and deep your pockets are in the game. And again, now they've also improved the clone troopers, as an example here, the actual display card for each class. Plus there's a video now so you can see what sort of combat they've got. Are they AOE, which is area, area of effect damage? Are they range? Are they melee? So you, for those of you who don't know what each class means or does, you'll see in this little video here what they do. It's a preview. And that applies to all the units in the game. Air units, ground units, leaders, uniques, everything. Um, now they've also made changes to how we get rewarded when we play the game. Uh, I'm always like free stuff. So let's talk with the victory packs. The victory packs are staying the same, but they are changing and adjusting um, what you get. So with silver packs, you get guaranteed two epics, and gold, platinum, and diamond packs are now guaranteed at least five epic cards. Since the rewards have been improved and adjusted for better draws, the cost of immediately open packs has been rebalanced. So they're going to make adjustments to how much it costs in terms of crystals to open up these packs. Um, but if you've got packs saved for tomorrow, don't open them, keep them ready for tomorrow because they're not being removed from the game and it's been adjusted. So you will get some of the new cards hopefully um, once you've opened these packs up tomorrow. So let's go from there. So what's happening? Oh, actually, they, they do explain there as well. So before the changes, you one crystal for every 10 minutes remaining is what your cost was. So now. It'll be two crystals for every 10 minutes from running. So every, essentially, the cost of the packs are going to go up, which is fine. Free packs will no longer obtain credits and crystals. So right now, you get maybe a couple of crystals and credits and all these kind of things um, in the packs. But you, you'll now get more cards inside the packs have increased sharply. The chances of you getting a rare card as well, or rarity of the cards have been increased too. I've had a lot of leaders and uniques from from free packs, which has been nice. Um, but they are removing that now. You're probably thinking, oh man. But there are many more options and many more ways that we're going to get crystals and credits in this game. And again, we've talked about that in previous videos. Uh, mentioned here about the new changes to the shop, what you can get in the packs. And also daily missions has changed now. So before, as you can see on the, on the description here, that you minimum was 500 credits up to 10,000. Now it's going to be 1,000 to 10,000. And the chances of you getting better prizes has been adjusted. Um, let's put it that way. Rather than 0.3, it's now 1 in a billion chance of getting the jackpot. Uh, guild missions as well. 
uh, guilt packs and guilt missions have been adjusted too to distribute more high grade cards so make it more rewarding for players so for guild missions stages 3 and 4 guild mission packs will contain at least 2 epic cards guild missions 5 to 10 will contain at least 5 epic cards which is nice there's more guild cards there and also speaking of rewards and things season recent rewards have been changed now if you if you play one versus one ranked games the amount of crystals you can see is almost doubled in some cases depending on your level or tier and these are completely free and you get these every week for each faction that you play so if you play minimum five games on the dark side and then five games on the light side that's two times the reward whatever level you whatever tier you're in at that time of the season which is pretty decent. So you, if you are uh, in a Kyber Master, you will get two times 252 crystals. Not bad at all. Victory credits has also been changed. The amount of credits has also been increased. So you get more credits for wins in your games, which is good, uh, which is why they're taking the credits and crystals out of the packs. Now you can see why they're doing that. Um, and at the bottom there, there's, they just talked about some changes to packs, start packs, checking rewards, um, new new and returning user rewards have been adjusted and added too. Um, talking about leader movement has been in, improved to be more responsive and I noticed that when playing the, the update that it has all been a bit more responsive which is kind of nice. Um, guild missions will now change on each reset so they're going to change guild missions around. The order is set to destroy enemy turrets or shield generators which is what it is at the moment then it will change to kill enemy leaders then it will change to kill enemy units. Wow, change. Variety, we like that. We'll have some of that, thank you very much. Um, lines around characters after their die will now disappear. I have no idea what that means. Leader's movement has been done that one. Luke Skywalker's skill range is more accurate. The attack now, da attack now damages units in its visible range. Chopper's normal attack range accuracy has been improved. Dashing characters getting stuck on obstacles has been improved. So I get stuck a lot with Jin, which is really annoy me, so hopefully that will be improved. Slave 1 now has an area of effect damage for Slave 1, which is like um, Hera's, I would imagine like Hera's got now, it'll appear in the map where or the fallout's going to be, so you can got a bit of area to run away from. Attacks which push or pull have been improved, Darth Dyson will like that one, no doubt about it. Um, new packages added to 4x4 blind draw, daily credit supply and level up packages, so all the packs are change in there which is pretty standard and straightforward so again please feel free to pause the video check through all of that Let's scroll back up and what we'll do is talk about the rest of the changes there's some balance changes too that are coming to the game and let's jump into that right now so obviously we all know about the faction changes so galactic republic and separatists are now all being called dark side light side so everything merges into one the error set bonus you get, you cannot mix and match the set bonuses. I tried and you can't do that. Um, so it talks about how the set bonuses are for each faction. There are for Rebels, for Empire, and for the Republic, and for Separatists. Each has their own special boost or bonus. But importantly, now if you unlocked all your slots, uh, you might think, well, actually, I haven't got enough cards. But things like stun grenades, doxus grenades, pikes, iron mine, they all count as part of the package so they will give you your eight set bonus if you use two of those cards in your deck and here we go talk about the set bonuses here for each particular faction so again pause the video to have a look at those but again i'll show you those in some of the videos that i made earlier new cards that have been added talks about the cards now also got 16 new cards coming in which we've already seen got yoda all these cards we're talking about gunship clone droids, Darth Maul. So all this is new, not new, this is what we've seen in our previous videos, there are no extra cards but what there will be will be some balance changes and the Empire is having a slight tweak. So Bosk is having a, is having a boost, Bosk is having a, almost a tongue twister, it's having a boost. So as you can see on the screen they're not particularly happy about um, Bosk and how he was being used so his energy regeneration is going to go back up to two now when a leader is defeated and the cooldown time is now 40 seconds for that to to happen um admiral thrawn this is quite interesting actually they said that most of the leaders in one versus one were thrawn wins and very high win rate because of his special ability student of war so they're now changing that so student of war um attack bonus decreases from five to four percent and the maximum attack bonus decreased from 50 to 40 percent so he's having a slight nerf and dear old sister she's been nerfed uh, since they did the update 
I noticed that her droids did too much damage, the shock droids did too much damage. Um, and so shock damage has been decreased by 50%, which is huge. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out in, um, in the game. I mean, they did do a lot of damage, uh, but it'll be interesting to see how that plays out in a new update. And then finally, the energy pike trap. No one uses it, not really surprising because it's just pointless. But this will count towards your error set bonus too. Um, and basically on the screen now, the ten reasons behind everything, what I'm going to change. And the base duration time is increased from 5 seconds to 5.5, .5, so you can now trap organic units for 5.5 .5 seconds. And the duration increase per level adjusted 0.1 to 0.2 level seconds per level. So it depends on the high, how hard the level is. Rather increasing by 1 second, 0.1 second, and then increased by 0.2 second per level. Then finally, we've got cosmetic changes to the Empire. Don't know why the Rebels have not no cosmetic changes. What about having a re re rebel soldier in Hoth gear or um, in his commando outfit from Endor? But the Empire has some changes to the troopers, all looking a little bit more smarter, new shoulder straps and things around there. And that is really it in a nutshell. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below. The patch is arriving tomorrow, the 17th. Um, thanks again for watching and thanks again for your support. It's been amazing these last few days how you guys have just embraced the changes to the game and enjoyed the videos and the content that's been brought to you by everybody who's been showing it to you and i hope to see you in the next star wars force arena video which will be a live stream tomorrow should be the expansion